Hey guys. Okay, so I am sketching a figure. I am sketching a female figure and I'm using the same basic process that I do with men. It's just I'm more focused on, um, well, making the forms a little bit slighter. And if you notice, this is a voiceover. I'm not actually talking, so you won't see my hands move, but this is a real time sketch. I just wanted I can't focus on doing my sketching properly and talking at the same time because I tend to lose my thoughts a lot, so that's why I'm doing the voiceover for this. So when you're drawing the female form, you can use the same shapes that I showed you when drawing the male form, it's just you have to adjust them slightly to fit them in um, to female proportions. Like as you can see, the hips are a lot wider, they're about the same width as the shoulders and the middle is a little bit more tapered as the rib cage looks a little bit more small as well compared to the hips. So that's what gives women their hourglass shape is the, um, the width of the shoulders to waist to hip ratio. Um, not all women obviously have this ratio. There are different types of women, obviously different body types. This is just one I'm generally using um, for this character. I can do a different type of women body types video. I think I've done quite a few body type videos um, in the past. So either look those up or I can start doing some new ones that have voiceover instead of me um, talking and trying to draw at the same time. It saves time actually, because I'm able to just focus on doing one thing. Multitasking is hard. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, I kind of like go, um, all over. I work the entire drawing at once. This is very important. Uh, it helps with speed so you're not focusing in on one area and rendering it and then starting to work the next area and realizing that something's off proportion. I am constantly moving through my drawing, building up lines, um, adding in small details uh, and anatomical points and uh, clothing details. As you can see I started the shorts and then stopped and moved on to something else. That's kind of how I build my drawings, is I just continually move through uh, the pose and the uh, sketch, adding details as I go, tightening up areas, um, changing areas if they need to be changed. But if you work like this and you kind of work the whole thing at once, it'll look a little bit more cohesive. Um, it's kind of the same thing when you're working with uh, more than one character in a scene and you have them interacting. You have to work both of them at once and you have to place them in place the basic shapes of what they're doing in their action so that you know where you're going to go and you can adjust proportions accordingly. Um, I'm giving her here, a <laughs> changing subject, um, a fitted bra. So that's why it's going to be more outlined um, boob cups and shading and stuff like that. I will do a demo on the female form because uh, I find a lot of artists draw breasts wrong and they're kind of that weird thing that kind of dangles and hangs, um, but they're a very visible thing. So in order to uh, draw them properly, it's observation and it's also just understanding what's going on with that mass. So yeah, see, just doing some details on the bra, a little bit, extra details around. The see-through shirt. I don't know, I've never been able to wear like the gauzy type shirts because the static drives me insane. I do wear fishnets though. I love fishnet stockings. <laughs> oh, goth Megan's coming back. Anyway. Um, so yeah, just like, again, constantly working through, um, adding in shading, adding in other points of detail. Um, I didn't have an eraser for this, so that's why I wasn't really erasing, but there probably would have been some points that I would have just tightened up with an eraser. You can do that too, or if something's really bugging you. There I measured the hand. The palm of the hand is half the length of the, um, the forearm. With the fingers, it's about two-thirds the length of the forearm. Um, I gave a measurement on the hand, I believe, when I did the anatomy video, and I was wrong in that video. So, um, just letting you know. <laughs> I will correct my mistakes when I find them, and I found that mistake. Anyways, uh, this is why I want to do more voiceover, is because I can reflect on what I'm drawing and give you guys the correct information. I usually watch these things a few times before I post them, and 
yeah, it'll just be, it'll be a lot better going forward. Um, so put in a makeshift shape for a pooch. She's got some sort of a pet there, I'm giving her some shading on her hair. And I think that is about the video. Enjoy. Bye guys.